what is up YouTube, Roger here with a quick video, um, I, this is my first PVM drop log in quite a while, um, you guys seem to quite enjoy them, and I quite enjoy doing them as well, so I'd like to do them more. This time I've used my 30 Barrows amulets that I got from Missing Presumed Death, um, just because I was curious, um, you know, how many drops I would get, how much profit I would make, just from those pendants in, you know, specifically. Also, you know, that sort of just you know as a, as a fun thing just to see how much profit i would make and if i would get any loot at all really and um since everybody gets those amulets from missing presumed death then i figured it would be a good one to do even though it's not as many kills as i would have liked to have done i have used the pendants on one brother per trip which is acrosir minus a couple of runs so probably 33, 35 total because I did get a few runs where I did get accuracy in the tunnel, which was a bit of a pain. But um, other than that, it seemed to be quite successful. Other than that, um, I didn't get any pendants from the chest, so I have don't have any of those to add up. But I do have everything that I got here. Um, so obviously you get runes quite a lot. I got. 3080 blood runes, 4412 chaos runes, 6662 death runes, 16861 mind runes, as well as 40 barrows totems that you use for Rise of the Six, 612 bolt racks. And I also got specific barrows items, Darok's legs, Acris's war mace, and Aram's staff. Not too bad, but, you know, not the best, really. I also gained 160k magic XP, 108k hit points XP. I used 12 overloads, which are at about 50k approximately per, um, is about 600k. 12 prayer renewals at about 4.2k, which is 52k. And then, overall about 3.2 million GP profit, including the items, um, minus about 200k for repairs, equals about 3 mil profit. It took me 4 hours-ish to do 35 approximate chests, which is about 750k GP per hour, and I got 1 items every 10 chests, approximately. So, that, those are the statistics from those 30 amulets. It seems to be about one item in every 10 chests of procs. Though if you do get luckier, then you know, then you are going to make more money. But at 750k an hour, especially with something uh, that you get as a free item from a quest, a rather enjoyable quest, and you know, as a sort of low-level money-maker method, it is pretty good. All right. So that's it for the statistics. Lastly, to end the video, I want to give a shout out to five video makers. Um, you you all know that I've done shout outs pretty recently, and I want to continue that ideally, but I haven't been able to in recent videos that I've done. So here we go. I'm going to do five in this video. Um, five people that I think make incredible videos that don't get enough attention. So I advise you all to go and subscribe to them. They all make brilliant content. Different, you know. Uh, different varieties. So the first one is Aktik RS. Um, the first thing that struck me on his channel was the thumbnails and his banner. Uh, the, it really st it stood out to me as somebody who was looking at his channel and it does look very impressive. Uh, the guy makes a variety of videos, progress, you know, update videos, that kind of stuff. He's a it looks very very high quality and he doesn't get the attention he deserves so go and subscribe to his channel. The second guy is Chief of MCFS. Um, he is working on a Max Cape from scratch. Uh, he's only really got Max Cape from scratch videos on his channel, but all of them are quite interesting to watch. So if you like watching progress videos, then definitely check him out. Number three is Martino RS. Uh, he does a variety of different content, uh, mainly new content, but he also plays things like old school and stuff like that as well, as well as makes money making guides. So if that's your thing, then go and check him out. And then the next one is Full House RS. Uh, this guy is another guy that I've been subscribed to for quite a while. He's got some high quality thumbnails and a nice banner. He um, 
makes guides he has a road to trim series as well as god wars and pvm and stuff like that it's really good really good quality content and definitely worth checking out too and finally somebody that caught my eye quite a while ago also makes very very high quality guides um, I personally used his guides for the Dungeoneering Sagas, which were very high quality and well done, is the Complete RS. Um, some impressive guides, He's, his videos are very well done, the guy seems like a nice guy. Uh, thumbnails and videos are very informative, as well as his banner on his channel looks very impressive. So please go and subscribe to those channels, I'll put all of the links in the description. Very, very good video makers, definitely worth checking out. Um, if you know somebody that doesn't have very many subscribers or doesn't get enough attention, I will try and help them out best I can. Please send me a YouTube message or something like that. I want to continue this this shout out thing. So um, that's it. I hope you found my video, uh, video informative and um, go subscribe to those people. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.